Uh, I'm just going to tell you a bit about, my, about myself, if that's alright. Uh, when I was younger, I always really wanted to be a spy. Um, my dad always told me, it's an unrealistic son, pick a realistic job. So now I'm a film student. <laughs> um, or, am I practicing to be a spy and being a shit film student is my cover up? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I like saying wink wink without actually winking. But it says dominance. <laughs> People get more confused because your actions conflict your statements. Uh, no, Jeremy, I'm not apologizing for crashing your mum's funeral. Whilst playing Crash the Wedding by Busted full volume on a boombox. <laughs> wink wink. I still think I'd be a good spy though. And all the tricks. <laughs> you know, I know all the tricks of the trade. What the fuck is that? Rule number one of being a spy, don't fall for the what the fuck is that trick. <laughs> you all did really well. <laughs> you might be wondering how I know all this. It's actually because my dad's a spy. Get it. Yeah. Uh, are you, uh, I know what you're thinking. Don't tell us that he told you, because uh, we all know that's rule number two of being a spy. And I would have to agree with that. If I already didn't know rule number three of being a spy, tell them you're a spy. Use the old reverse psychology, you know. They, they, they think he can't be a spy if he's just told us he's a spy. Can't fool me, Dad. <laughs> Another reason I think my dad's a spy? Whenever he texts me, he all too often uses the fist bump emoji. I don't know about uh, any of you lot, but um, I don't know if there's a rule for all dads in general, but whenever my, uh, my dad has never fist bumped anyone in his life. Except when he used to beat me as a child. <laughs> um, uh, I'm joking, obviously. Um, my sister got the worst of it. <laughs> Poor thing. She kept forgetting rule number one. Uh, still forgets it to this day. Side note, my dad also once uh, killed the family pet rabbit with a hammer. Uh, unrelated and out of context, just to give you some insight into what the guy was dealing with here. Um, anyway, there's, uh, so there's no proof that my dad has ever fist bumped anyone in his life. Which leads me to come to the conclusion that um, there's someone else texting me as my dad. Uh, at least I hope for my dad, because otherwise I'd be a bit worried about all those dick pics being sent through. <laughs> We've got a lot of backtracking to you guys. The um, thing is, my dad hasn't got time to text me. He's doing, too busy doing cool spy stuff, like being not Idris Elba. People got really angry. They really don't want to black James Bond, apparently. Here's a gesture. How about no more James Bond, right? Have we had enough James Bond? James Bond has had enough at this point already. You've also retired, surely. I'd argue, it's just like Doctor Who, except less interesting, because uh, he can't even travel through fucking time. <laughs> I would argue it'd be more interesting just to give Doctor Who a gun. Imagine that. When he travels to the dark planet or whatever. I'm not going to say it, because I'm not a fucking nerd. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, what do you think is going to win in a fight? A toilet plunger or an AK-47? <laughs> Speaking of AK-47s, if I had a time machine, I'd travel back to my primary school disco and shoot every child that used to do this pose. <laughs> Including myself. <laughs> Did anybody else used to see this pose back in the day? Yeah, we're all big losers. <laughs> Apparently it's used to give the illusion of a jawline. People just use beards for that now. Um, <laughs> uh, I have a bit of a ginger beard. It's because I'm half Irish. That's my dad's side. Oh, who knows where he's from. He could be an eight-year-old Czechoslovakian woman for all we know. <laughs> um, <coughs> I know I've been talking about my dad a lot through all this. Uh, but I'm, I'm fully aware that spy appearance is a possibility. You know, for example, I'm sorry for bringing up Madeleine McCann for the second time this evening, but I'm about to do it. Um, so, on a family holiday to Portugal, <laughs> when I was younger, uh, my mother once booked the exact same hotel as Madeleine McCann got kidnapped less than a year after it happened. Because apparently, it was a bargain. <laughs> Now, I'm not buying that. I'm just suspecting some toxic, top secret uh, mission type stuff, you know? It's all a big ruse. People keep telling me, um, there's no big conspiracy thing. Uh, your parents didn't get a divorce because they were both spies and it would be too dangerous for them to live together. Uh, you have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to those people I say, Jeremy, get off my tits. Don't make me go back to your back dad's funeral last Sunday with my time machine and AK-47 and go spy kids on your ass. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 